and welcome back to my channel. I am the Jess in Sunday Jess and my channel is your go-to for all things of Sister Missionary Prep and today I'm telling you guys about 10 essential things that you will need as a missionary that no one tells you about. <laughs> so being an RM and having experienced it, these 10 things are proven necessary essential things that you need to take on your mission that you will definitely not find in your call packet when you receive your mission call. So let's go ahead and jump on into these 10 missionary essentials. All right, number one is a good watch. Now I'm talking, not talking about like a good watch as in like, oh, it's expensive and flashy. I'm just talking about a good, trustworthy, <laughs> sturdy watch. Um, before I went on my mission, I went on Amazon and bought like three or four different colored watches that just had some faux leather bands. They cost me like five bucks a piece. Now by the end of my mission, all the batteries had died or they had broken, um, but none of them were sentimental and that was great. They did their job and that's all I needed. And this is actually a watch that a convert gave me. Um, but also another good example for what you can bring on the mission. Um, you can splurge a little bit on a nicer watch. Um, like I said, just don't make sure it's not too flashy that it gets stolen. Um, but having a watch is so nice because even though you might have a cell phone with you all the time as a missionary, um, during a lesson when you're teaching people, it's a little bit rude to like pull out your cell phone, check the time, because as a missionary, you're always on a time crunch. And so being able to casually look down at your watch instead of a cell phone is a lot more polite a lot easier and it's a great way to make sure that you're always on time for appointments. All right, number two is something I've already talked about here on my channel a couple times and I have an entire video all about it and that is a scripture marking system. So missionaries definitely need some form of marking their scriptures in a way that they can go back during lessons really quick and remember important scriptures to go along with that lesson or scriptures that might fit or answer an investigator's questions. So. I have a marking system that I made that's based on Preach My Gospel. I've shown it to you guys in depth here on my channel. Um, and it was so great because you're not having to worry about like flipping through tons of pages during a lesson and quickly trying to find a scripture. And you also don't have to worry about memorizing scriptures. So if you have a good marking system, it will make your life so much easier and also help your investigators out. Number three is also something I've talked about here on my channel before, and that is a workout plan. Now, having a workout plan is elaborate or a simple as you want it to be is just great. Before I left my mission, I printed out a bunch of Pinterest workouts like this and probably took about 20 different printouts with me. And it was so nice because every morning I could have a different workout. I had a structure and it was set. So I did wimp out by saying, oh, I'll do 10 reps, but really I only am gonna do five. Whereas when you have a paper that tells you exactly what to do, how to do the move, it helps you so much. It helps you get through a workout and actually makes you do it. So I definitely recommend printing out some of those Pinterest workouts before you guys go. And that'll be an amazing workout plan for you throughout your mission. All right, and number four. Now, if somebody asked me what would be my go-to makeup item that I couldn't live without, I would tell them an eyebrow pencil. <laughs> now, an eyebrow pencil is fantastic. Um, this is my personal preference, but I would definitely recommend having one piece of makeup that you do every day that just makes you feel instantly put together. An eyebrow pencil for me is so essential because whether I do a full face of makeup, which as a missionary, you're definitely not gonna have time nor want to do foundation, eyeshadow, contour, all that kind of stuff. Just do the basics because you're not trying to impress anybody and it's all gonna melt off by the end of the day anyways. So an eyebrow pencil is great because it can make you look put together in just a couple seconds and it's super easy and you can find them literally anywhere in the world. All right, number five is something that I'm super excited to tell you guys about and it's a company that I just found out about a couple weeks ago and they reached out to me to do a giveaway with you guys and they are Fortify Journals. So this is something that is so cool and I'm so upset that I didn't have this on my mission. I've talked about mission journals here on my channel before and basically mine was just a book um, that I wrote in every single day and I had lots of books on my mission. I have another video talking about all the books you need to take. Fortify Mission Journal simplifies that so much and basically takes like six books that I had and puts them into like three really nice books. So these journals are fantastic. There's actually three different ones in their mission collection. And first of all, the quality is amazing. The pages are a perfect size. Um, they're all lined pages, but each journal serves a different purpose. So to start off, the My Mission Study Journal is really cool because you have two hours of study time every morning as a missionary and you wanna have a journal specifically for that. Now, something I love about Fortify Mission Journals, um, and this is my honest review, guys. I really love this company. I think they are great. And so that's why I want to share with them with you. Um, they have an index. Now, there is a manual index where each page throughout the journal is numbered. So in your study journal, if you, you know, are focusing on the restoration or a plan the plan of salvation one week, 
um, you can index that in the back here. So that way when you're quickly wanting to find a quote or some scripture that goes really well with something you're teaching or something you're studying, you can go back in your index, find exactly what page you were writing about the restoration on, and you can instantly find that. So I love their indexing system. It is included in a couple other of their journals as well. So this one is their My Mission journal, which is your day-to-day -day thoughts, feelings, personal journal. Um, it also has an index, which is great because then you can write down, you know, I'm teaching such and such person right now or a funny moment that happened. And once again, you can write down the page number and quickly find that. And now years later, as I'm trying to go back through a year and a half worth of mission journal pages, um, an index would be fantastic. <laughs> so not only is it great in the mission, but it's also great afterward. The mission journal is also fantastic because every 75 pages, they give you a prompt called My Testimony which encourages missionaries to write out their testimony of the gospel of Jesus Christ every 75 days. So that way you can see how much your testimony is actually growing and how much closer to God you are coming. And it's really cool. I tried to do that, but it was hard because I forgot to do it every so often. And anyways, this does it for you. <laughs> and that's great. Now their last one in their set is the transfer journal. Now this is really cool because every missionary basically has a yearbook um, where all of their companions or investigators or converts or members can write them a fun little note um, it's a little bit more than have a great summer, but you can write fun memories, jokes, whatever in here, and it's really cool. The other thing I love about this is it has a contact list. Now in here you can write down like, you know, companions information, um, so you can contact them afterward. You can also write down converts and members addresses, so when you go back to visit your mission years later, you can still find them and it's all conveniently in this book. Also in this book there is a list for my mission for areas and companions, so this is another great way to just keep track. And because believe it or not, in a couple years after your mission you start to forget those things. So I absolutely love this set, I think Fortified Mission Journals is fantastic. Um, so, I have partnered up with them to give you, one of you guys these three journals for your mission. I'm looking for somebody who already has their mission call to win these journals. So the giveaway rules will go as follows. You need to be subscribed to my YouTube channel here, and you guys need to be following Fortify Mission Journals on Instagram, and also my Instagram, at JustJessie. And what I want you guys to do is I want you to take a picture of you with your mission call, or if you already have one on your Instagram, I want you to go back and tag me, at just Jesse and four to five journals in the picture. So that way then I can find the picture, it'll show up on my feed, and that is how you guys can enter to win these journals. And little secret, I may or may not write you a cute little personalized note in here to you know give you a little boost of love in the mission field. Um, so I am super excited to give these away. So those are the details. There'll be more information in the description box below. And that is how you guys can enter to win these, which are so amazing and really helpful. And overall, the Fortify company is really cool because their mission is to help missionaries fortify their thoughts and feelings and learnings and all that stuff in their journals. All right, number six is something a little bit sentimental and a little bit cheesy, but it is a blanket from home. Now, I brought a blanket from home. It was a big fleecy one. I loved it because whenever I was feeling homesick or actually sick or just wanted a good hug, I had a great blanket to sleep with, to cuddle in, and it was so nice. So whether it be a blanket or a pillow or even a sweatshirt, having something from home is so comforting, so I definitely recommend that. Now, number seven is also a little bit sentimental, um, and that is pictures from home. So now, I'm not talking about pictures for you to, you know, get yourself all homesick over, but bring up about four or five pictures of your family, your house, your pets, your you doing sports, whatever, to show investigators and members and companions so that, that they can get to know you a little bit better. It's something really cool to be able to share those pictures with people so you can make a connection and you can start up conversation a lot easier. And like I said, it's a great way for people to get to know you a lot quicker. All right, number eight, a medicine bag. Now, when I looked at my vision, I took a gallon-sized bag of all the medicines that I really like, that I prefer, and that I thought I would need in the mission field. Now, I'm talking everything from Advil for headaches to Midol for cramps, um, some anti-diarrhea medicine, um, some stomach flu medicine, everything you can think of. Because especially if you are going out of your home country, it is so important to have medicine that you're familiar with, that you know how you react to, um, and that you just like and know how to use. Uh, I had some bad experiences using some weird medicines when I was in Peru, but having my medicine bag that had the majority of medicines that I really liked and needed was so nice 
and so helpful throughout my mission because most of the time you get sick either early in the morning or in the middle of the night and you don't want to walk out to go try to find a pharmacy in your pajamas with your companion who's gonna be angry because you woke them up. <laughs> so having a medicine bag with you all the time is really nice and it can save you all those night trips to the pharmacy. All right, number nine is earplugs. Now, earplugs are something I never wore before my mission, but after one too many neighbor parties and soccer games and snoring companions, I realized I needed earplugs. They are fantastic. They help you sleep so much better, they help you feel really rested, and they just block out any extra little bit of noise, and it is like you are just in your own little world. So I definitely recommend earplugs. They are fantastic. I literally wore them almost every night of my mission. And number 10 is something that my husband actually wanted to throw out on this list, and that is USBs. Definitely take more than one. I definitely suggest taking like three or four because you will want to store photos, letters, anything you can think of on these USBs. And the second item is an SD USB converter. So many times when you go to internet cafes, especially in outside of the United States, they do not have an SD port. So the SD card in your camera with all your photos can't go into the computer and you can't send them in your emails and you can't even save those pictures. So getting yourself a nice little $5 SD USB converter on Amazon is totally worth it um, because you could just pop this in the USB port in a computer, which almost all computers have a USB port. Um, and then you can pop in your SD card here and easily transfer your photos. And it's super great, super easy, and that way you don't lose photos, you can share them with your family and friends, and it just makes life a whole lot easier. All right guys, those are my 10 essentials for the mission field. I hope you enjoyed them, I hope you learned something, and like I said, you will not find these on the packing list that comes in your mission call. So I encourage you guys to share this video with someone who's headed out into the field, so that way they can also enter into one of these amazing journals. Like I said, I'm super excited to give these away. You can check out all the giveaway rules and details in the description box below. And make sure you go check out Fortify. They are fantastic, they have beautiful, really good quality journals for a very low price. So I love them, and thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you next week.